have the Drupal 8 file system uploaded to our hosting environment now, but there's one more thing we have to do before we can begin using it. We need to create an empty database for Drupal to use. Whereas the file system contains all of the code that makes Drupal work, as well as images that we include on the site, the database is what contains our content and our site settings. To do this in cPanel, we'll go down and find MySQL Databases. Click on that. We need to create a database. Usually the best way to go is to call this whatever your site is going to be called. I'll call this install tut for our installation tutorial. You click create database. And now we have this database that we usually, especially if you're on shared hosting, will be prepended with your hosting account name and an underscore. So this is the full title of our database. Whatever you have right here, followed by the underscore, whatever it says in between these quotation marks is the name of your database that you'll use. Let's go back. Now, we also have to create a user. Without a user, the website doesn't have a way to actually access this database. Whenever the website does, it's going to be essentially logging in as this user to MySQL in order to use the database. So we'll add a new user. I usually just go with my first name and give yourself a password. And we'll create that user. Just like the database, this will usually be prepended with your account name, especially if you're on shared hosting. Then you'll go back. And there's one more thing we need to do. We need to add this user to this database. So you can have different users and different databases and only certain users can use certain databases if you're in a situation where you need to do something like that. So we're going to select our user, the one we just created, select our database, the one we just created. We're going to add this user to this database. And for Drupal, we need to give them all privileges. Do that and click Make Changes. And now, this user has been added to this database. We now have a database that our site can use. We have login information for it to access that database. And since our file system is already installed, we're ready to begin setting up our site.